Are you struggling to find stocks that actually grow your portfolio? With so many options out there, it's easy to feel lost unsure which strategy will work best for you. My name is Maxim and I've spent over 10 years navigating the ups and downs of the stock market. Today I'm gonna show you some practical tips that I use to find profitable stocks. Now I'm gonna show you my screen. I will give you 7 tips based on the fact that you have already opened your brokerage account and ready to select the companies, which is the most exciting part. And now you might be wondering why wasting time when one of the most successful investors, Warren Buffett says, just stick to a low cost, broad based index fund like S&P 500. And I will explain you why. Have a look at this chart. Over the last five years, S&P 500 went up by 90%. Meanwhile, Alphabet, known as Google, went up by 167%. Apple up by 390%. Meta 195%. And Nvidia a crazy 2,585%. So these are the leaders of S&P 500. Meanwhile, the losers are Boeing, went down by 59%, Intel down by 56%, Walt Disney down by 29%, AT&T down by 24%. Meanwhile, S&P 500 is up by 90% of the last five years. So if you know how to select the right companies, you can sometimes double or triple the performance of S&P 500. And I'll give you more details how to outperform the market. Drop a comment and let me know what is your best performing business this year. The first tip is that you have to expect volatility because according to statistics, your portfolio could drop anywhere from 5% to 30%. And this is quite common in the stock market. But if you hold your companies long enough, anywhere from a couple of years to five years, your portfolio will recover. And in many cases, if you select the right companies, it will outperform the S&P 500. And ideally, it will grow faster than inflation and it should grow anywhere from 15% to 20% if you hold the top performing companies. Also, a good rule is to invest no more than 10% of your weekly net income after taxes and make sure you don't need this money for the next one or three years. And ideally, these are the money that you're not gonna use for the next three to five years. So you invest them and you don't worry. But I have to remind you, I'm not a financial advisor and you have to do your own research. The second tip is to have a mentor or an investor friend with experience who you can talk to during a correction. You have to have some kind of support during the market crash. It will help you to avoid any kind of panic selling and it will reduce your stress. The next tip is to focus on growth and profitable companies, which is the common factor for all these businesses. For example, if we have a look at Google, you will see that they have net income growing every year for the last five years. The revenue was up also pretty much every single year over the last five years. I don't pay attention to dividend paying companies because I think it is more tax efficient. And the companies that I will show you later in the video will unlikely go bankrupt and will outperform the S&P 500 in the long term. Tip number four is download a free software called TradingView. It will help you find where to invest and when to do it. The software has a very helpful screener, which I'm gonna show you how to set up. Let's open the TradingView software and locate the stock screener. It will give you popular screens and one of my favorite ones is healthy growth technology stocks. It will give you some basic filters, but let's adjust it to have a better selection of the companies. For example, I prefer revenue growth rate trading 12 months year over year at 10% instead of 30%. Let's adjust it to 10%. Now you have 150 companies. Then I will add a filter called analyst rating and I prefer to select buy and strong buy. So that means that you will see 128 companies where full-time professional analysts rate as buy and strong buy. Then you will add another filter moving averages 
one day and once again you want buy and strong buy so it will give you all the companies in this case 100 companies with a moving average that have buy and strong buy so that's a technical indicator showing you all the companies with the bullish setup the next filter that i will use is called technical rating once again buy and strong buy in this case we have 94 companies another filter that i use is called gross margin i prefer trading for months and i will select companies that have gross margin 20 percent and above in this case we reduce the list to 83 companies last but not least we will add another filter called target price performance and let's select 15 percent and above that means that we have 27 companies with price target that has upside of at least 15 percent and in this case nvidia has an upside of 28 percent here you can see 27 potential candidates then you can add to your portfolio obviously you have to research each company and make sure it meets your requirements in this case let's have a look at google alphabet and you will see their financials over the last six years and it's been positive pretty much every single year then you scroll down and you will see net income has been going up pretty much every year yes it was down in 2022 but then it recovered and now it's near all-time high 87 billion dollars if you find this information helpful hit the like button and subscribe for more investing tips now you might be wondering when to buy a simple rule of thumb is to invest 10% of your net income at least once a week but I'll give you a better advice is to use a filter called RSI because it will help you to avoid companies that are overbought and I'll show you how to do it if you go back to your stock screener and add another filter called RSI then you adjust and select to show you all the companies that have RSI 60 and below this is how I do it anyway so you've got a list of 21 companies that you should research yourself and potentially add to your portfolio by the way I would like to get your opinion would you buy any of these companies at the moment let me know in the comments below tip number six is to let your winners run set a goal for example have a look at this chart while it is smart to take profits when the company is overvalued but you don't want to do it too early for example somewhere here in december last year and lose on all this potential growth so if the company fundamentals have not changed just hold on to it keep the stock and let it run and over the next three to five years it should outperform the s p 500 but if you think you've made a mistake or the company fundamentals have changed then it might be a good idea to sell if it is overvalued by the way i would like to get your opinion would you buy any of these companies at the moment let me know in the comments below tip number seven is when to sell there is no right or wrong answer but nobody has ever went broke taking a profit there are three common times when to sell let's have a look at alphabet google the first time to sell for example is when the stock price went by over 30 percent from the time you bought it then consider selling half of your position and reinvest the money into another good undervalued stock that is experiencing a pullback due to some one-off rumor the second time to sell when company fundamentals have changed for example boeing has poor quality control and they keep losing orders the third time to sell when your investment idea didn't play out and you simply made a mistake for example you thought that airbnb would be the monopoly in the rental market but unfortunately they keep losing customers and the revenue is going down now i will show you my public portfolio where i invest my real money the current value is nearly 28,000 New Zealand dollars. If you're based overseas, that's about 17,000 US dollars. I've been doing this portfolio since 12th of August and 
at the moment it is down by four and a half percent but i'm quite sure that during the christmas rally it will outperform the s p 500 and it should go up by another 20 percent or so here you will see all my positions and at the moment i use options because over the long term it will give me a better return on investment but i realize there is significantly more risk therefore be careful and this is not a financial advice and you have to do your own research the first position is amazon total return 678 dollars so i'm bullish on amazon bit farms that's a bitcoin mining company the first position is positive 63 dollars the second position is negative 125 dollars the third position is clean spark that's another bitcoin mining companies at the moment four positions are negative but over the next four months i believe it should outperform the s p 500 because we will enjoy the christmas rally and we are in the interest rate cutting cycle Last but not least is Hims and Hers. Uh, the position is currently profitable at $152. Just to sum up, I'm bullish on all these four companies. Subscribe to the channel so you can follow my journey from zero to $100,000. And I've got more stock market tips coming your way. Don't miss out. Happy investing. If you use my affiliate links, I'll earn a commission at no extra cost to you, which helps support the channel and cover production costs. I personally use their services for stock research. I'm not a licensed financial advisor and this information isn't financial advice.